my name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to West of Loathing. Alright, well, it's about time for us to go to the map. We've got Thousand Snakes Gulch, the Ore Hall Mine, Boring Springs Boneyard, and Fricker's Gang Hideout. I think we're gonna go left to right, you know, standard reading order. Thousand Snakes Gulch. Alright, I didn't know what I expected. You've got a shiny rock, let's check this out. It's shiny. It's about the size of a rock. <sighs> Didn't know what I expected there, to be fair. What else have we got? Bag of homing oats, Brimley's location aware oats, they're healthy and expeditious. A needle, it's not for sewing, it's for picking locks. Uh, dynamite, speak softly and carry a loud stick. I like it. Uh, item is used in combat, damage an enemy in combat, and some find useful outside of combat as well. You examine the diamondite, it's got an end you light and an end that blows up. Recovered mug, a dirty glass mug, the bottom is stamped, property of Boring Springs Saloon, reward if returned. Dusty turnip, a turnip covered in grit, increases your muscle, mysticality, and moxie for one for the rest of the day, and we've seen the rest of the stuff. Beautiful. Alright, this snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Um, okay, if I just snake whip it, it should kill it instantly. 10 damage. Okay, we collect one venom and one medicine. Alright, oh, of course, we get that for fighting the snakes. Whoa, these jerks are quick. That's 15 HP. So, Snake Whip plus Malay Attack or Pistol Whip, either or. Should be able to take it out before it gets anywhere near me. That is to say, anywhere near taking out a majority of my HP. Uh, it's on about half there, but that's the end of the fight. Alright, two Venom, two Medicine. The Snake looks really angry, you're going to need every trick in the book to beat this one. Whoa! These jerks are quick. Wow, that is really quick, actually. It's got 20 as its speed. Hang on, no, we'll be fine, right? Because the pistol does 9 damage, so as long as this hit doesn't kill me, I don't know if criticals exist here, but I think we're now done. Oh, 7 or 8, yikes. The melee attack doesn't stun either. Okay, that did 8, and then you died of the poison. Beautiful. Okay, none of them have anything for me. This horse has gone snake crazy. Maybe he was some other kind of snaze, uh, crazy beforehand. Approach him. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? It's, it's cool, all right? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. Look him in the eyes or pat his nose. Can't look him in the eyes. Look at those crazy eyes. Pat the nose. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose. He twitches a bit. Okay, a lot, but seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes, or suck out of his soul, or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. That's a good boy. <laughs> look in the eyes. You calmly look in the horse, uh, look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket, like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. It looks to be calming down a little now, but it's clear that you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Feed in the oats. You hungry, boy? I got a treat for you. Oof. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats, and it gallops away with a whinny. Or rather, a Hopefully he's headed back, home, and not into the 12th dimension. Alright, nothing else for us to pick up in here. Uh, okay, we don't have to walk all the way back, so we can just go to the map. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, Ore hole. Let's go. Okay. Hey, he wasn't kidding. Not that this would have been fun something funny to kid about, I guess. We got a shovel. There's some meat ore in the cart. Beautiful. Another recovered mug. Let's go inside. It's instructions for the cargo elevator. Level 1, blasting cap storage. Level 2, blunges. Both kind. Level 3, tools. Let's leave that alone for the moment. Minecart's still full. Ah, uh, what do we get there? 
Accidentally walked away too quickly. Unrefined meat nugget. A chunk of mostly worthless rock. Shot through with veins of gristle and flesh and well... Veins. Just sell it, is the advice. Shovel uh, provides the option to dig in certain places. A device for turning ground into holes. That's dangerous. At least there's no plunger hooked up to it. Okay, plungers are on floor two. Let's get ourselves a plunger. Easily done. Can I get past the rubble? We got to hook up a blasting cap. So blasting caps were floor one. I had to imagine we'd have to go back for that, but I did want to check the order in which this was happening. Uh... The crates are all uh, labeled blasting caps. The period is part of the label. That's why it's inside the quotes like that. I'm glad that you did it. Dang it, you're gonna need a crowbar to probably one of these open. All right, let's go to the tools. Gotta be a crowbar in there. Either that or I have to come back from somewhere. Pick the lock using a needle. We got the crowbar. Back to blasting caps. Get the blasting cap, put it in the barrel. We got this on lock, got rocks and moxie. Which is actually one of, uh, one of our statistics. It's also worth noting that we are rocking some brand new Soxies. Uh, get some meat. Dig this up. A silver nugget. You see a dark horse. Barely. Hey there, girl. It's okay. I'm a friend. The horse shies away from you. Though in this case, it's more like cripplingly introverted away from you. Reassure her. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I brought some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything, I promise. Ellipsis. In retrospect, that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Feeder of the oats or patter on the oats. Excuse me, uh, feed of the oats. You take a handful of oats out of the bag and hold them out to the horse. Here you go, yum yum. Snort. She sidles away from you and wearingly makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding in her own shadow. Come on, please? Patter on the nose. As you reach out to pat her nose, the horse ducks and steps further back into the shadows. Oh, come on. No. Eat the oats yourself. Look, they're fine, see? You take a handful out of the bag and toss some in your mouth. Ugh. It's like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still, it's better than dry cat food. Don't ask. You smile to show the horse that you're fine and realize you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See? Everything's fine. Feed the oats. Doesn't work. Uh, okay. Going through that line again. The horse finally seems relaxed enough around you, so you offer her a handful of oats. Warily, begrudgingly, she eats them. She then gestures at something behind you. You turn around to look, but don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. Well, okay then. Alright, let's get out of here. M is the map. Ah, oh, I can probably leave from here. Yeah. Right, Boring Springs Boneyard. Our fire, uh, our founder rather, Zephaniah Boring. He was actually a really interesting guy. Benjamin Crockett, he showed up way too early. All ah, right, yes. His date's much prior to any other. Beauregard Skeleton Captain Third Cavalry. Dig up the grave. All right, I'm not afraid of fighting no skeleton. With him. 20 HP. Uh, okay. Uh, weapons are doing a lot less damage. All oh, right, because the opponent has higher statistics. Okay, this is going to be enough to kill you, right? Yeah, even if we deal six, it's going to be enough to kill you. Uh, we get a gold tooth and an old cavalry saber. Sweet. All right, let's check out those. Where about are we? Old Cavalry Saber. Here comes the Cavalry Saber. Let's equip that. It's better than what we were currently wearing. This was in the ground for a very long time, then it was in someone's mouth for a very short time, and now it's in your backpack. The Shiny Rock. All right, fight the skeleton. This one's only got 10. Uh, pretty much no matter what I do, I'll kill it in two rounds. No need to poison it then. Shoot it twice. Alright, it collapses into a pile of loose bones. 
Do we now? Yes. Okay. We can spend experience on leveling up our character. So dead eye. At the next level, we will increase our attack damage by three. Okay, so we we gain experience and then we use the experience to buy these kinds of things. Skills. You're a city slicker and a witty trickster. We already have locking expertise. I kind of want to go for Deadeye. Glamour is extra meat gains, item finding bonus. Gumption is extra speed, extra AP, and extra spleen capacity. That actually seems pretty good. But at the moment, it's it's only plus one to speed for us. Because we already have plus one speed, plus one maximum AP, plus one to spleen capacity. Grit. Oh, that's that's a lot more. That's ten more maximum HP. That's pretty good as well. Okay. I think we level up Moxie. And dead eye. Maybe Moxie again? We've enough left. Yay. So my goal here is just to kill things before they can kill me. Timothy Cochrane, uh, Elizabeth Cochrane, and Silas Cochrane. So devoted husband, baby, and daughter. Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. Approach her. You approach the weird, semi-transparent horse cautiously, so as to not startle her. Though you quickly come to realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi, I'm a friend, okay? Hey. It's a little strange how you did that without opening your mouth. Pat her on the nose. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle to keep your butt from freezing. Pat her on the nose again. Yep, still cold. Brrr. Feed the oats. Here you go, girl. You hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of stares right through you. Don't look at me like that. Try the oats again. You hold the oats out again, but the horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess I could put some bone meal on them, but I don't have anything handy to grind bones up with. Grave dirt? <laughs> Is that a yes? Weird. Okay, add some grave dirt to the oats. You sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gauges express gazes expressionlessly at them and then eats them. With that, she slides away in the general direction of the town. And the final one is the Frickers Gang. Thud Fricker, the Frickers Gang intrepid outlook, appears to be taking a little nap. Wake him up, just shoot him, ignore him. Wake him up. You poke Thud with your butt, he gets to his feet. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Thud is, well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar. If we assume that it's seven years from now and that idiom makes sense. You feel kind of bad about the idea of killing him. Walk away, Thud. Thud, you don't want this life. Take a hike. All right, you're probably right. Thud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. You got a perk. Honorable. All right, what's that doing to us? Uh, honorable. Honorable options will be available in some situations. You've got a strong moral compass and an accurate ethical protractor. It's a beer barrel cactus. Okay, we don't have foraging, so we've got to remember to come back once we get that. A pair of silver cufflinks and another recovered mug. If you wore fancier shirts, you might have some use for these. Ah, uh, okay, I might, might be able to adorn something with them. Oh, the crowbar is once of one of nature's simplest machines. It's exactly what you want on your side if a thing has a lid, and you don't want it to have a lid anymore. It does the same damage as my prior option, so may as well stick with what I got. One of the Fricker boys is dozing in the bathtub. Psst. He pass me the soap. He mumbles and hands you a bar of soap before sinking deeper into the both uh, both sleep and the tub. You got an item, bar of soap. Cool. One of the freaker boys is in the bathtub. Time up. You grab a nearby length of rope and carefully tie his hands together, and then to the handles of the tub. The sheriff can come collect him later. Let sleeping bandits lie. All right, let's have a look at the other thing that we just picked up. We're about to that. Uh, Dr. Sweckleton's pure Castile show. Uh, so, where this comes from, they call it hope. Mm. You cautiously approach the freaker gang. They're pretty engrossed in that poker game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. 
You hide behind a barrel and eavesdrop on their conversation for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet, but you gather that his name is Snipe, and the squirrely one is his brother, Wimpy. What's your play here? Approach them and talk. Howdy, boys. Deal me in. The one with the eye patch raises an eyebrow at you. Who are you? What do you want? How'd you get past Thud and Thopey? What do you want? You're under arrest. It's Bimmy, or I'm here for the sheriff's door. It's Bimmy, your brother. He squints at you. E Bimmy? You ain't Bimmy. I am too. Back me up here, snipe. Or I am so Bimmy, I stole some Rube's face. I stole some Rube's face. Ha! <laughs> you always did have a knack for face rustling. What's new, Bimmy? We gotta get out of here, and fast. The Pinkertons are onto us, and they'll be here any minute. Dag nabbit! Let's go, snap. Let's hail deal it. I'll catch up. I'll catch up with you guys later. Wimpy nods. He and Snipe hurriedly pack their belongings and flee the cave. You congratulate yourself on your attentiveness, memory, and strong interpersonal skills. Let's grab that door and skedaddle. We get another mug, as well as 50 from the ill-gotten gains. The sheriff's door is picked up, and I think it's now... About now that we just get the ever-loving heck out of here. Back to the Brawn Springs. Uh, okay, we can shovel the poo. We, sh we can't shovel the rocks. Okay. I don't know how you spotted her hiding in that mine, but thanks for sending back my, bark my dark horse. You gained 300 meat. Sure thing. Looks like my pale horse made it back here safe. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. He was eating loco weed again, wasn't he? Not that I noticed. That's all of them. I can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. And that'll be thousand, actually. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Uh, can you sell me a horse? I would like the shifty, dark-looking one, because it's rookish. She's a sneaky one. I'll sell it to you to a thousand meat. What do you mean, shifty? Well, she's real quiet. She likes dark places. Yeah, I remember. It's... And just look how she's trying to hide behind their other horse over there. She seems pretty smart. I'll take her. Choose a name for your horse. All right. Cal. Cal the horse. Has a nice ring to it. Oh, I almost forgot. Free with every horse is a complimentary map. We get the southwest... Uh, ride horse out of town. Ride cow out of town, sorry. Not a horse, it's cow. Shovel. Shovel. I have a bar of soap. Step right up, step right up, braise the name and trades the game. I'll trade this soap for a lock and no trades right now. Thank you very much. Cool. Don't know what we're going to do with Alice. Let's go to the chef. I see the Frickle gang hasn't put a stop to your breathing. You come to rescue my cell door. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> this guy's different, right? You've come to rescue my cell door. You hand Sheriff his door and he hangs it back on the hinges. Nice work, stranger. This here prison cell just got about four times more secure. Are any fricker boys left me to round up? Yeah, one or two sleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly. It looks like I need to give you a reward. He produces big bag of meat. You gain 400 meat. Got another little task for you, if you've the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. Well, the frick has busted the lock when they took out the door. Gonna need a new one. Just so happens I have one. That'll do nicely. The sheriff puts the lock on the cell door and accidentally drops the key and it clatters in the cell. Hellfire. Well, I don't suppose you know how to pick a lock, stranger. You got a needle handy? I'll see what I can do. You deftly pick the lock. You've unlocked the, uh, the cell door. Better let sheriff reclaim the key himself so he has something to do today. I unlocked the cell for you. He looks around for a pl he picks up the key and looks around for a place to hide it and eventually sticks it under his hat. Thank you, kindly stranger. If Boring Springs ever gets more criminals, they'd better watch out. It's a good job you've done. Don't mention it. Here is a souvenir of your time in Boring Springs. A replica shirt badge. Anything else? How's it going? Eating brightly. Beautiful. That was a slot item, if I recall correctly. It, uh, this is a plastic facsimile of the sheriff's badge. He usually gives them to children who tour the jail. The item goes on your lapel and gives you plus one armor. Uh, the bar, we have a couple mugs to give to you. Oh, I never told you about the goblin. I took care of the goblin. Thank you, Candlin, eh? I knew you were a stand-up fellow from the moment you walked in here. Here we go. 
Least I can do by way of thanks. Tip your hat. I found these mods. Much obliged. Get 150. Just thought I'd say howdy. Well then, mission accomplished, I reckon. Take your leave. Woman glares at you. Are you Susan? Ah. How? How'd you know my last name? I saw the graves in the cemetery. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. She scowls bitterly and murmurs into a whiskey. I saw it happen. I saw the whole damn thing. Couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender says it was cows. Cows, right? But I don't know what those things are. They ain't cows. No more. What happened? It was a raid. See, Mom and Pa used to ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it. But Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead. She let me take the place and she passed on. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out we used to be a cow ranch. They attacked a couple days ago. Happened so fast they didn't even have time to get my rifle out of gun safe. <sighs> Cows smashed in the front door and fire started out back by the root cell. Cows went up in blaze just like that. What'd you do? I, <laughs> there wasn't anything to do. Couldn't get upstairs, the kids, because of the fire. I saw Tim trample right in front of me. I, just, I ain't want to talk about it anymore. Sorry. She refills her mug from the bottle on the bar and doesn't reply. What will you do now? Head west, I suppose. Nothing keep him here, no desire to stay. Can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was Ma's rifle. It's all I got left to anybody. Where is it? Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you your favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah? Sounds like a quest. Uh, we get the Cochrane map. What'd stay, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, buy ginger, some no good scallywag set my flapjack. Uh-huh. Pete takes a sig of his whiskey. He notices a shiny rock you're carrying, and his wild eyes light up. That there's right shiny shock you got, stranger. I'll give you seven meat for that rock. Don't sell it to him. Suit yourself? He notices a nugget of silver you found earlier. I'll take that old silver off your hands if you like. Give you any one meat for it. Don't sell it to him. As you please. Uh, he sees the unrefined meat ore. Eh, you ain't seem like one got much use for unrefined ore, stranger. I'll buy it off you for 73 meat. Don't sell it to him. Well, alrighty then. Alright, now I'm going to sell all of them. Sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Beautiful. Listen, kid. With all the stuff I've been riding around for you, uh, you've been spending some time underground, ain't you? Well, you listen to all P's advice. You stay out of ore hole, you know what's good for you. There's stuff down on the 40th level you ain't worth messing with for a fellow want to keep his eyes, you catch my meaning. Not sure I do, but thanks. Uh, for instance, living lily liver machines. Can't trust no more swindling horse flea. See you later. All right, let's play. Looks like I have meat. Let's play. Uh, we put 20 minutes on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards sloppily and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens plus a two and a three and a king. We're going to uh, bet crazily because it's high moxie and we are all moxie. Eat this. All in, suckers. Sweat gushes from their faces as they read the how to play poker card again. And eventually they both add 20 meat to the pot. Okay, read them and weep. You show your pair of tens plus two, three king. The guy on the left has a full house, two jacks and three aces. And the guy on the right somehow has a straight flush, two through six in hearts. Horn swoggle them. You explain that jacks are worth nine points each, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points and the guy on the right 20. And yours is 25 plus a king. A king represents, oh, hey, look over there. They look. And when they look, <laughs> and when they look back, they don't notice 10 meat missing from each of their bars. You collect your winnings and stand up. The guy thanks you for helping them learn the game. Nothing else doing, if I recall correct. I think the last thing in town that I need to worry about is this over here. Uh, yeah, you have nothing new to say to me. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, there was a skeleton in the cemetery. Nice to get some outside confirmation. I'm not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It isn't possible. Goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patient. Oh. 
Ouch. Doc Alice turns around away, grimacing. Every doctor loses one now and then. You, ne you never get used to it. But <laughs> it happens. But what doesn't happen is them coming back up afterward looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough? Buddy, I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients, it's neighbors, friends, husband. Oh. Uh. Um, indeed. She turns away from you and focuses attention back in the bottle. Hmm. Do you have any idea what's calling all the resuscitations? Well, I heard a rumor. A rumor is what you get when... <laughs> a rumor? What is it? Is when you get incomplete information from an unverified source. Uh... That reminds me. <laughs> that reminds me of a bunch of the jokes in uh, Airplane or Flying High, whatever it was called in the country. It was released in for you. Uh, <laughs> see, I can't remember the exact joke, but it was something along the lines of, "What's the message? It's a missive that was received from one party and sent to another, but that's not important right now." <laughs> anyway, I heard there's a fellow out west causing it a necromancer. They call him. Supposedly, he's sending magic out in the world somehow. Magic like bean slingers use. I ain't never heard of bean slingers raising the dead, have you? Maybe one hell of a can of beans. Hmm. What's the deal with all the TNT? And so when I feel like I'm about to go, I can blow myself back into bits so small there won't be nothing left to come back. That seems drastic. Drastic hell! No way am I becoming one of those things. Fair enough, I suppose. About the necromancer, assuming he exists, what about him? Well, maybe someone ought to try and stop him. Doc Alice gives you a sharp look. You? Because I know you ain't talking about me. Why not you? A gray-haired old woman that knows about as much as fighting this squirrel know about surgery? Did you hit your head on the bar stool, kid? You aren't that old. And if I was going to pick someone to go up against a necromancer, it'd be someone who knows about death, but in a scientific way. A doctor. Right? Doc Alice stares at you, takes a sweep from a bottle, saying nothing. And sounds like, to me, you've got plenty of motivation to get the job done. For your friends and dot 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 everyone. She continues looking at you, and you can see the gears turning in her head. Beats doing nothing, anyway. Beats locking yourself in a house full of TNT and drinking yourself to death. You aren't even doing any doctoring anymore. She winces and looks away. She shakes her head slowly. You seriously expect me to ride out west by myself chasing a rumor? Doesn't have to be by yourself. I'm heading west too. Tag along with me and maybe we can find the guy and put a stop to him. It's crazy. Impossible. Impossible? Like raising the dead impossible? Alice crosses her arms and regards you thoughtfully. A spark slowly brightens in her eyes. All right, kid. What the hell? Let's give it a shot. Cool. Let me know when you're ready to leave. I'll wait here. All right. Uh. Well, was, was, was you, right? Uh-huh. See you later, Pete. Okay. There's two new locations for me. Cochrane and... Uh, no, Cochrane's the only one marked. Okay, cool. Cochrane Ranch. 19... Uh, sorry, 1891. All the water in this trough has boiled away. Susie's ranch has been burned to the ground. Are you gonna fight a cow? Uh, something behind this door is making pretty awful noises. Go through it anyway. The outhouse is the only thing still standing. You got a perk, mostly scabs. Character. Uh, you've been poked by so many cactuses that your body has built up an extra entire set of skin capillaries just to deal with the constant tiny puncture wounds. Plus five maximum HP. All right, let's go through it anyway. Oh, wow, they actually have dynamic lighting. Looks like someone was in the middle of fixing a knife. A varmint skin and knife. Always allows you to collect beasts, skin from beasts after combat. Cool. Pies were not safe, as opposed to the pies at our house. Looks angry, you're not making it the safe without dealing with that. You know what? Fuck it. I've got dynamite. I'll throw it at you. It is a pyro bow. I get it. That's not subtle. <laughs> Pyro bovine. Okay, we're taking five 
Woo! It actually increases the amount of damage per turn you take. If that was a battle with anyone more, we might have bit the dust there. You defeated that Nazi skull cloud floating in flame. You gained 6 HP. Uh, XP. It is the Cochrane family gun safe. Grab Susie's rifle. Can I use it? Three little notches carved into the stock. Six little notches, rather, carved into the stock. There was nothing else here, if I recall correctly. Alright, well, that was easy. Get back to the town of Boring Springs. Alright, let's have a look at our character again. I don't want to get more Moxie. Oh no, I want to upgrade Snake Whip. That's the first thing I want to do. So we'll wait for three more experience. It'll give us extra versus animals, but it'll also increase the base damage. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, it's Susie in the bar that I need to get to. Found my rifle yet, stranger? Yep, here she is. Susie's eyes well up as you hand her a rifle, and she roughly scrubs her sleeve over her face before any of them spill over. <laughs> Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. I'm Name. Thanks, Name. Can't rightly say what this means to me. She looks at the rifle for a long moment, then looks back up. Well, that's enough wallowing in misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want to tag along when you head west, you just say the word. Sounds good, Susie. Thanks for getting my rifle. Let me know if you need anything, or if you want me to come when you head west. Somehow I feel like that is going to be a conversation for the next episode. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Realm of Loathing. Shit, fuck. West of Loathing. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on this game, past, present, and future. If you do like the video, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, do that as well if you want to. I ain't your boss. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and we'll see you next time.